game day, you got a big game coming up, you want to rock it, you want to give your best performance ever. So what are you doing to prepare? Yeah, you may have heard the quote before, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I think it was Benjamin Franklin that said that. But what that means is if you're not willing to do what it takes to get ready for the game, then when the game comes, you're not going to be able to do what you need to do. So game preparation doesn't start on game day. Okay, You knew you had a game coming up. What did you do all week? What did you do to get ready for that moment? So your game preparation doesn't start on that day. Maybe you had a game and then next week, let's say you had a game on Sunday, then you had a game next Sunday. So you got seven days. What are you doing to prepare in that time? Now you should definitely be getting on the ball at least 20, 30 minutes every day, okay? You can guarantee that ball work should always be in your day somewhere. You need to be having the ball at your feet, even if you're just juggling, you're just dribbling around the house, okay? But preferably you're getting out to the pitch or a wall and you're taking shots every day, getting at least 20, 30 minutes of ball work every day. Okay, earlier in the week, maybe a day after your game, you, you want to get some physical training in there. So you want to do some sprints, you want to do some strength training, and also all throughout the week, you definitely want to do some flexibility, dynamic stretching, just taking care of your body and taking care of your muscles. Okay, so let's say you had a really good week, you trained on your own every day, you went harder in the early week. Thursday, Friday, before your Saturday game, you took it a bit easier, you just did some ball work, now it's game day. Okay, so you wake up on game day. What I would suggest is first thing in the morning, you just go for a little jog. Let's say 10, 15 minutes, okay? Just to get any tension out of the muscles, just to loosen up your body, just to get you in that right state, ready for your game later in the day. So just go for a little jog, 10, 15 minutes, Okay, you can do a little bit of ball work as well, some juggling, maybe some light shooting. Definitely get some stretching in there, some dynamic stretches from head to toe. Now, you want to be eating throughout the day. Now, just like your game preparation, proper nutrition doesn't start on game day. It starts through the whole week and it should be a part of your whole life. Now, if you need any advice on soccer nutrition or just general nutrition, I really recommend you go and get my advanced training guide, Soccer Nutrition Secrets, because if you have any questions about nutrition, that will clear up everything. It will tell you everything you need to know. Then it's simply a matter of you applying what you've learned, okay? So you wanna be eating consistently throughout the day, at least every two to three hours. Each meal on your game day should be consistent of sorry, should consist of complex carbohydrates. So these are things like fruits, whole grains, root vegetables, okay? Also some lean proteins in there. And you want some fibrous green vegetables. And this is all just gonna give you a lot of sustained energy throughout the day. So similar to eating, you should be drinking water all throughout the day. And similar to proper training preparation, proper nutrition preparation, Drinking water, proper hydration should be part of your life and it should be something that happens all through the week. Okay, so you want to aim about four liters per day. On a game day, you're going to need a, you're going to need a bit more because you're definitely going to sweat out a lot of that water. So try to drink water with every meal, plus just have a water bottle with you, taking casual sips throughout the day. Prior to your game, you want to have your pre-game meal, your last pre-game meal about two hours to an hour and a half before kickoff, okay? So you have all that energy in the engine ready to burn. Similar, you wanna drink at least a liter within that hour before the kickoff, okay? So little sips, you don't wanna crush a liter five minutes before the game starts, or you'll be running around with a big thing of water, a big bubble of water in your stomach, and it won't be very pleasant. But little sips leading up to the game, get that liter in you. Okay, so let's say, you did the proper preparation through the week, you had a good little session in the morning, got the legs moving, good nutrition, good hydration, now it's game time. I want you to get to your game early, okay? Earlier than anyone else, if possible, okay? Because you're gonna do a little more work than everyone else, so you're gonna need a little more time 
than everyone else. So when you get to the game, I want you to warm up physically, technically, and especially mentally. You'll do some tactical preparation with your team, with your coach, when he's going on the board, he's outlining the formation, positions, strategies, okay? That's when you do your tactical warm up, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But when you get there, definitely start with the physical side of the game. So that's light stretching, dynamic stretching from head to toe. If you need any ideas, go to my channel and search stretches or search warm up, and you're gonna get a whole bunch that you can do on your own. Okay, but the key here is really warming up all your muscles. I know we're footballers, we mainly use our legs, but if you go and you warm up your chest, your back, your spine, okay, your hips, everything from your head to your toe, you're gonna feel a lot better, ready to go. Now, you wanna do some technical work, so juggling both feet, different touches in all different ways, dribbling, some passing, long, short, definitely some shooting, especially if you're a striker. It's horrible to go into the game without even taking a shot, but so many players do it, so definitely get some shots under your belt. And then you wanna take care of the mental side, okay? But this is going on the whole time. Now, you've probably had it before, you're getting ready for the game, and you start doubting yourself. You start saying, oh, this team is pretty good, what if we can't keep up? What if I play against that winger again and he beats me, okay, something like that. Whenever this happens, you have to crush that right away. If you don't, you are screwed. I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? Anytime that you have any self-doubt, you tell yourself you can't do it, you question your ability, you have to say no, okay? I've been trained hard, I've prepared properly, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for this moment, and I'm going to kill it, okay? If you come with that attitude, compared to the wimpy wussy, I don't know, I'm unsure, I can't really do it, okay? Go with the first attitude, the strong one, and you're gonna be so much more successful, okay? This is so much more of a mental game than you actually realize, but as you grow, and the more you can start to learn that it is a mental game, the more success you're going to have, okay? So mentally prepare. Tell yourself all the things you're gonna do. I'm gonna play quick, I'm gonna play smart, I'm gonna play hard, okay? I'm gonna do all these things, I'm gonna get up and down the line, I'm gonna double, when defending, I'm gonna cover my teammates, I'm gonna do supporting runs, okay? Whatever you need to do for your position, remind yourself of all those things, okay? If things go bad in the game, you're just gonna stay positive. Always stay positive. Keep telling yourself to stay positive. Stay positive with yourself, but also positive with your teammates. The worst thing you can do is start yelling at teammates, have them yell at you, you start bantering together, okay? It takes you off your game. The other team's already won and you haven't even finished the game. Okay, so always stay positive. Finally, I want to say, don't be nervous, okay? You have no reason to be nervous if you've been training hard on your own, you made the most of the week, if you've done the proper preparation, you've been eating well, you've been drinking well, you've been studying the game, you've been listening to your coach's advice, you've been taking criticism, okay? If you're doing all these things, there is no reason to be nervous. If you are nervous, you are simply wasting your time. Okay, if you need some more advice on how to not get nervous before a game, go to my channel and search exactly that, how to not get nervous before a game. We'll see you real soon.